Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna K970 power cutter. Um, this one ran and runs, but the customer said it doesn't run very well and he has diagnosed it as needing a new ignition module. I told him how much it would cost and he agreed and I'm putting it in. End of story. So, I hate working on these things. Look how damn dirty this is. Get this concrete powder on everything. And, uh... Bullshit detected. Take precautions. I just don't like it. I mean, I'm entitled to, uh, not like something about this job, and this is it. So we're going to get into this here. Uh, we've got to remove the top cover as, as well as the starter assembly in order to replace the ignition module. Once we get underneath here, you'll see the uh, filtration system that Husqvarna runs on this K970. It's that big oval air filter there. Pretty easy to service and replace. If we could just get the guys to service them, I guess, would be the thing. You know, I said I hate working on these, but they're really kind of easy to work on, except for the dirt. This top cover doesn't want to come off of here, which is unusual, but what ended up happening was uh, it kind of vibro welded itself to the bottom half, just in one little spot. Right where my thumb is. There we go. That was kind of weird. So we are going to, uh, yeah, look at the dirt. I hate it. We're going to get this uh, air air conductor, I think that's what Husky calls it. We're going to get it out of the way and cleaned up a little bit. I think I'm going to put a cut in the video right here. Not here, I cut more right. Pull our ground wire for the kill switch off of there. We're going to need uh, the assistance of a screwdriver. Bam. Pop the two screws out of the ignition module. Get that out of the way. And then uh, an important step that some people might skip is to clean the mounting surface where the ignition module bolts to the case. Um, you know, we have to complete an electrical circuit here and that means that that module has to be grounded to the case a lot of people um, ignore that or don't think about that when they're diagnosing ignition module problems I know echo for one is uh, really a stickler about trying to get the text to uh, to clean all the ignition module mounting points before they make a claim. I know they got a service bulletin out about it. Um, if you go to service school for Husqvarna, they tell you to do it, but I don't remember ever seeing a, a specific service bulletin out there about it. So we're just going to take some emery paper there and clean up them mounting points, shine them up a little bit. We will bolt the new module down. And usually I use a plastic gauge for setting the air gap. But sometimes I use a stainless steel one that I have. And for some reason on these saws I always end up using a stainless steel one. But it's the same thickness, it just, uh, 
it's not forgiving like the plastic gauge might be. And you can see that we still have our, what is it, 0.3 millimeter gap. What am I missing? The air conductor, there it is. So we'll get this filthy, disgusting, dirty piece back in place. Snap the kill wire into the groove where it belongs. And reconnect the wire to the ignition module. Did I mention I hate working on these things? And I always have a couple of them waiting to be repaired at any given time. So bolting the starter on here, no big deal, but I know the, the, the cogs don't always line up. Cogs, the uh, the pawls don't always line up with the uh, starter gear on the pulley. You gotta fiddle with it a little bit to get them to line up. And maybe when you torque down the screws on anything power cutter you need to give it an extra half an ugga dugga just because these things vibrate pretty bad I am not sure I watched this video a couple times I'm not sure why I put that boot on and then took that boot off I'm sure in my mind at the time there was a good reason for it but I sure can't think of what that reason is right now maybe it was to fish it through here I didn't think it would fit otherwise I don't know. So there's just two screws holding this piece down. Put our spark plug boot back on there. I probably should have put a little dielectric grease on there. Get our air filter screwed back into place and then the top cover so we're gonna give this a test run and see if she goes thanks for watching later Thank <laughs> you.